Hey boo, what's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan. I'm gonna go over what I'm buying, but I had a great question from a um, beautiful fruity cutie the other day, and she asked, what are some things in the raw food diet that feel like treats? And definitely, I mean, you wanna start making fruit your treats, but I know what you mean, boo. You want something kinda naughty, okay? I do nice cream a lot, and that feels like a treat, especially, you know, if you do like, chocolate ice cream or something crazy like that you know do some frozen bananas macadamia nuts vanilla bean it's phenomenal um, but there are many many things in the raw food diet that feel naughty and are like treats and those are the packaged things the dehydrated things the kale chips the dried fruit those are all gonna feel like straight-up candy so I talk about this a lot I overdid it because, you know, I'm a former food addict, so I went way overboard on the dried fruit when I first went raw, and for the first, like, six or seven years, I ate a lot of dried mangoes. You know, I was raw in New York, so I didn't have the tropical fruit that I have now, right? So I ate a lot of this. This company, I swear, they kids are set for life because of me. International Harvest, like... I ate a lot of dried mangoes. They have chocolate dipped dried mangoes as well. Um, a lot of dates, a lot of dates with almond butter and things like that. You're also going to want to look at snacks like this, okay? So these are super clean. Navita. This is a great brand. I haven't had these in many, many years. So let's see what's in there. It's dates. It's super clean stuff. Okay, look. It's dates, chia seeds, goji goji powder okay and that's just a goji berry oh they're right next to them actually that's funny uh the kuma yeah a little bit of sea salt Ooh, mm, you lost me boo natural flavor i must have eaten these before they put the natural flavor in there or i ate these before i knew any better nah don't um don't fuck with anything that has natural flavors do the raisins do the blueberries all this dried fruit super good for you just make sure you read the ingredients make sure there's no sulfates you know stuff like this can be a little questionable because you go to the back oh look at that it's just dried mangoes well that's fucking crazy what the fuck it's just a mango ball yeah i would definitely fuck that shit up okay um, so that's the sweet stuff. Savory, I do see these chili lime. That looks really good too, hold on. Oh yeah. Guys, this is literally just dried mangoes, lime juice, sea salt, and chili pepper. Uh, yeah, definitely I would get that. Um, these kale chips, they're really good. Um, I don't see the brand that I used to love, but you know Brad's kale chips are good. I actually met Brad a long, long time ago. I used to sell his stuff in my store. Um, these all look really good. Just get the best kale chips you can. Uh, they're gonna be salty and stuff. I've never seen kale chips without oil and salt personally. But um, you know, these are the things of the raw food diet that like you need sometimes, okay? Just do your best, um, do what you can. And those are the treats, like the, the things that feel, you know, kind of naughty right and then of course all these nuts and stuff um lara bars even though you know they're not healthy but like hey and they're not raw either because if it could sit on a shelf you know it's not exactly fresh R the raw food diet's all about fresh okay like you want to look fresh you need to eat a lot of fresh food all right so in whole foods they actually sell these bars yep here they are now <laughs> Of course they're on sale why are they so cheap um like because i just remember buying this stuff in new york back in the day and like a raw vegan bar would be like eight ten dollars it would literally be insane but anyway um these little bars it's interesting because we're not gonna split hairs here so if it's between this and like a regular candy bar yeah get this obviously but like it kind of irks me you know what i'm saying when you got a bar like this and it says raw vegan chocolate and then you take it right and then you flip it over and you look at the ingredients and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to zoom in so that we can read it together it's raw cacao butter raw cacao beans coconut sugar coconut milk powder sorry I got a weird setting on the phone I don't know the phone is weird 
Okay, cashews, almonds, currants, and sunflower lethicin. Okay, this one's not bad. I don't know what sunflower lethicin is. I know that's not raw, but this one is definitely not bad. There are some that are way worse than that. Okay, so hold on. Let me just verify. What was the sweetener there? I said it, but I wasn't paying attention. Coconut sugar. Okay, that's cool. So then we have this one, which again, it says raw. Raw vegan chocolate, right? Raw vegan chocolate, okay. We're gonna go here, and we're gonna read these ingredients now. And it's raw cacao butter, um, ch cashews, okay. We got the evaporated cane juice. Like, evaporated, how can something evaporated be raw even? Like, you know what I'm saying? Sunflower lethicin, rice flour, there's no way that's raw rice flour. I never heard of it, never seen it. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but you know. Anyway, I just want you to know, don't ever try these bars unless you wanna fucking eat them every time you see them. I was addicted to these bars for a little bit. I don't know if you have these in your Whole Foods, but here in Florida, we got them. White chocolate is my favorite. Whew. Second best one is definitely the almonds and currants. Let's just get out of this section, okay? Just get out of this section. I used to really fuck heavy with the U chocolate as well. And then I also used to make the raw vegan snicker bars with the U dark chocolate gems. But I think I told you guys that they were recently bought um, in the last two years by a very large company that also sells Oreos and Doritos and all these other things. So I don't support this company anymore and I don't buy them anymore. However, this chocolate's pretty, pretty, pretty good. It's cacao, coconut sugar, and cacao butter, and that's it. So, you know, if you're really craving chocolate, I would get this. Don't try to make your own. That's a nightmare. Um, and, yeah, so these are the things. Oh, they were right here. Yeah. I mean, some of them are healthier than others, but it's like, wow, you're really not going to find a healthier chocolate. So, like, if I was still addicted to chocolate, I would definitely get those. You know, I wouldn't care what company bought them. Because at this point in my life, I'm not addicted to chocolate. I'm finally free from that addiction, so I'm good. Um, I do buy these nuts a lot when I want dressings with nuts. Um, they're not organic, I know. That's not ideal. And then here's the nut butters that are the best. If you're looking for nut butters, this is what you want to do. Because the, the things sitting on the shelf, they are made up of nuts that are unsellable okay they're made up of nuts that have fungus on them that have mold on them and so you want to get these okay because this is not what those nuts look like all right and then that once you break down a nut and it sits on a shelf it's got to be pasteurized so they do other things so you definitely want to go with these kind of nut butters highly recommend even if it's not raw i'd take this over the raw you know if there's a jar of raw almond butter or you know this roasted i would take the roasted sorry I'm just, I'm just being honest. Okay, now let's talk about what I got. Um, first of all, right now at Whole Foods, the golden kiwis are on sale. I feel like I should get more. They're $4 each. I've seen these for like $8 each, so that's a really good price. I got some organic tomatoes there. I got a hammy melon because the other day it was so freaking good. Um, I got some microgreens apples strawberries which i like to put in my salad i got a lot of greens down there arugula different different greens power greens put in the comments down below if you know what this is because i don't i forgot already it's with an f and it's just so beautiful and i've seen it in restaurant salads but i have never ever ever bought this i've never even seen this at whole foods so that's gorgeous need that in my house i got some beautiful this is my favorite kind of lettuce okay my absolute favorite favorite do you know what kind of lettuce this is i feel like it's called red leaf but it's just so like tender and amazing i got my green onion um got some herbs cilantro dill i got more tomatoes lemons down there i got some kale and i think i just need a few more things to juice so I want to make juice for a few days so I need cucumbers and I think that's it yeah I think that's it I got sprouts as well even though I'm gonna start sprouting my own things but you know for now 
sorry, I'm trying to maneuver the cart and you at the same time, and it's not easy. But um, yeah, that's what I bought today. And this is probably gonna cost me about $100. Um, I hope, <laughs> I hope. Um, and then I'm just gonna get some cucumbers for juicing. I do like the organic, but it's quite pricey. They're quite pricey, it's tough, you guys. So sometimes I do go with the non-organic and I just peel it because I'm just like over it, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna get two for now. I'm just over it. I'm over spending. Oh, here we go. This is good. Wait, three dollars a cucumber. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know, y'all. Like, we gotta play the lot. We gotta become millionaires because this is some crazy shit. There's that celery root that I was looking at the other day. Okay, so that is called organic. Freesy greens, freesy, and this is red butter lettuce. Yeah, that's my all-time favorite lettuce. I have that a lot, red butter lettuce. Second to the regular Boston or butter lettuce there. Um, you know what's also good sometimes, honestly, some iceberg lettuce. I like to make sandwiches out of this, so I'm gonna get one. I was never into the iceberg until, honestly, a raw food romance got me into this when I went to our house. I had never had iceberg in like 11 years. And then I had it at her house and I was like, oh, this is a cool bun. She uses it as like a burger bun, which, you know, I thought was pretty inventive, pretty cool. Okay, I also got, um, sorry, trying not to miss anything. I gotta hurry, because I gotta teach my course tonight. But I also got um, <sighs> fennel, because when I make my juice, I love to do green juice with apple, lemon, and fennel and that's it okay and of course i'm making y'all proud i do have a few plastic bags but i got this big ass pink bag that i'm putting everything in because i don't want bags as much as possible okay love you guys so much i will see you in the next episode remember the treats of the raw food world are you know do dates do fresh almond butter okay Just try to stay away from the peanuts um you can do frozen fruit that feels like a treat. Dried fruit feels like a treat. And, um, you know, just like make some really, really good smoothie bowls and stuff. Um, nice cream can really feel like a treat. And now I'm on the hunt for this. Um, it's the only fragrance that I wear. I know y'all gonna judge me. I know. But that's okay, because I do not mind. A lot of y'all are into the essential oils. I am too, but this is, oh, they're out of it. Well, this is my scent that I love so much, vanilla bean, and they're out, and I'm upset. Oh, wait, maybe I just need to ask somebody for it. Yeah, I'm in a bad neighborhood. I, I had to pick up the car. We had to get the, um, the AC fixed, so yeah, they just don't have it like out here. But you know, in the Whole Foods where I shop, they do. So that's interesting. All right, I gotta get some assistance. Uh, people are stealing fucking fragrances now? The fuck? Anyway, uh, do you work here? Not in this department. Okay, thank you. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.